Hello guys, my name is Dr. Hades and today we will talk about a brand new champion. His name is Yone and he is a friend, a brother something bounded to Yasuo. But this guy has not only one sword, he has two and very powerful swords. You have to play him. It's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Before we start a video, do not forget to enter my giveaway. There is a link into the description to my latest tweet where you find a link to the giveaway and there you have all the steps necessary to enter and get a chance to win 1850 riot points. So guys, this guy has two swords. I can't wait to see its passive and its abilities. So let's get it going. Way of the Hunter, Yon uses two blades, causing every second attack to deal 50% magic damage. Yon's critical strike chance is double, but his critical strikes deal 10% reduced damage. So you get a better chance to critical, but you just uh, get a little less damage with your crits. Just a little bit. So let's move on to the key. And we have Mortal Steel, Yon thrust forward dealing 85 physical damage. On hit grants a stack off for 6 seconds. At 2 stacks this skill causes Yon to dash forward with a wave of wind that knocks up for 0.75 seconds and deal 85 physical damage. So, let me show you guys. It's very close to Yasuo's Q, but the special Q, it's not even close I think it's 100 times better so it's like this you see you do a win you dash forward but your win continues for a little bit more so you will uh, knock up even people after you a little bit so let's level up and move on to the W because I cannot wait to see what this champion does more it's called Spirit Cleave. Yon cleaves forward dealing 5 plus 5.5% 5 .5 max health physical damage and 5 plus 5.5% 5 .5 max health magic damage. If Yon hits, he gains 44 shield for 1.5 seconds. The amount of shield increases for each champion struck. So this is pretty easy. You do percentage damage, but you also get shielded. So you saw my shield here and let me put some more dummies to show you my shield increasing. Bam! So my shield is bigger. So if I hit more people, I get a bigger shield and I do more damage. So let me show you the next, sorry, the next ability because I think it's the, it's, it's really nice guys. Because it's called Soul Unbound, Yon enters a spirit form for 5 seconds, leaving your body behind for the duration and gaining 10% ramping movement speed. When the spirit form ends, Yon snaps back to his body and repeats 25% of all damage he dealt to champions during this time. You may recast this skill during spirit form. Recast means end spirit form early. So. Is it what I think it is? This is the shadow and ultimate of Zeds in only one skill and it's not even an ultimate. And you know, Zeds ulti is just for one target and this guy can do damage to everybody and then he does a little bit more damage to all of them. And that a little bit is not that less, so it's pretty much. So let me show you, you go E, you do your damage and one second before it says that you are gonna teleport back and it deals a little bit more damage to these guys so let me show you again so you go like this you do your damage okay and then when you go back you see I dealt a little bit more damage to them so these guys <laughs> think about it it's even shadow and ulti of Z for all the targets you deal damage so practically it will be a beast. It's a beast guys. So let's move on to the ultimate because until now it does too much damage and if this ulti will do a lot of stuff it will be like game over. 
Fate Sealed. Yone strikes all enemies along a path for 131 physical damage and 131 magic damage, teleporting behind the last champion hit and knocking up victims towards Yone. So let's see how it is. Oh, that's so nice. Think about this combo with Q, special Q. Let me get it. Oh, and combo also with E. So, bam, 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 W. You do damage. Look how much damage I dealt to them. So if you get a perfect combo of E, Q, E, R, Q, W, and then you auto attack a little bit, a little bit more Q, Guys, you'll be too much damage, too much damage. It will be a machine of doing damage, guys. This guy, it will be amazing. Think about now, when Yasuo was released, it was a beast. When this guy is released, it will be a beast. But think about something more. Even now, when Yasuo is fatted, he's a beast. Think about Yon. For the next, I don't know how many years, it will be a beast. He's a... He does a lot of damage and he's an assassin and come on guys, you have to play him. So let's see how we level up skills here. Let me reset the game and first we will start with Q and then moving on with E and then W and max out Q first. 4 and 5 Q, 6 ulti, 7 Q, 8 E and then 9 Q and let me see oh yeah so nothing changes you just deal more damage and i think the cooldown is reduced and then at level 10 you get a point in e level 11 ulti 12 e 13 e and let me show you now so it's the same movement speed increased you still have five seconds oh but now you deal 35 percent of all the damage he'll deal to champions so before it was 25 now it's 35 so practically you're it's amazing you have to play him guys 14 w 15 w 16 ulti and now ulti does yeah more damage so it's all about damage to this champion w and w and now w gives more damage and gives you more shield for the same duration less cooldown so practically you go in you do your damage you get out because you are an assassin in my opinion you, you have all your skills about damage you have shield you have crowd control so practically riot right now made a beast but before we talk about anything else i would like you to remind you to smash a like button to this video if you're enjoying this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and now doing good with you we need a good runes we need good runes so let's see what good runes we can take to Yon. So guys, we are at the rune pages and I prepared for you guys a very special combo for Yon. Why? Because I chose Conqueror. Why? Let me show you. Basic attacks or spells that deal damage to an enemy champion grant 2 stacks of Conqueror for 6 seconds, gaining 1.7 to 4.2 adaptive force per stack stacks up to 12 times when fully stacked heals for 15% of the damage you deal so think about this Q has less cooldown with W you do damage so practically you will stack up conquer almost instantly so you do more damage you'll have healing and after that you go for triumph legend electricity and coup de grass because you do a lot of damage you will have a lot of takedown so so you have to get credit for that and on second uh, row we get domination with taste of blood and ravenous hunter for more healing when you do damage and takedowns give you more stuff and we get 10% attack speed because you will see even the build it's a little bit about to kind of the same with Yasuo, kind of, a little bit different. You get 9 adaptive force and 6 armor. With this rune page, in my opinion, you will be a beast with Yon. And think about this guys, being in the beginning, Yon will be unknown for a lot of people. So after you watch the video, you have to play him, you have to get strong with him and then just spam him in ranked games, guys. You have to spam him in ranked games because he will be a beast. Use this rune space. And after that, let me show you how you should build on Yo. 
So guys, I prepared a special build page for Yone. I have a core and I have situational items. So as a core, we should build Berserker Creeps for attack speed. Okay, you get movement speed, attack speed. I told you it's very similar to Yasuo and then we get Phantom Dancer because we get attack speed, we get critical strike chance and we get more movement speed and we can move between minions. And then Infinity Age, we get 80 attack damage and 25 critical strike chance, but we also get critical strike deal 225% damage instead of 200, okay? But we get 10% reduce, so it's still better. And of course, that's dance. We get 50 attack damage, we get armor, magic reduce, cooldown reduction, and we get healing too. So guys, with this core, I think you are unstoppable. This is situational items will just give you a little bit more bonus, but with these items you're gonna destroy any champion you face, okay? If they have a lot of crowd control or, I don't know, they have a lot of damage and you get killed very easily, you should go for Guardian Angel. Blade of the Ring King to get more damage, attack speed and lifesteal, okay? And then you can go for Mercurial... Mercurial Scimitar for magic resist and removes all crowd control debuffs, so this is really good when they have a lot of crowd control, again. Lord Dominic, if they have a lot of armor, but if they have a lot of AD, you should go for Randuin Omen, you get health and armor, and you of course a little bit of slow, more crowd control. If you need more damage and you need more, a little bit of everything, you should go save for Trinity Force and if they have a, again a lot of AD but you need a little bit of crowd control true you should go for frozen mallet so these guys this is the core this is the situational items that you should choose from using the rune page the abilities that I explained with everything I think you will be a beast guys the combo for this is of course U E ulti Q W this is the combo you should use in order to get perfect with him and we will destroy any team if you master him. So play him. But before that, smash the like button for this video, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to enter the giveaway. And before that, do not forget that League of Legends is a team game and not a single player one. Or it is with Yon? I don't know. See ya!